Okay, we are, we have the uh, Admiral 400B record changer uh, ripped apart as far as you can rip it apart. You see there's not much left. As a matter of fact, there isn't anything left. All the active components have been taken off of it. The only thing that's still on here is the speed change lever, just the lever. No sense in taking that off. Same thing with the on-off reject bar. No sense in taking those off. Everything else up in here, the arm, tone arm, arm moving parts, the indexing, the flag, the bumper for the 10-inch, everything has been removed from this thing and all cleaned. All the old grease and crap and dirt has been cleaned out of it on both sides, top and bottom. And as you see, I've made a uh, bagged and uh, tagged all the parts. And in the order I took them out are labeled. 14 is where it stopped. So 14 is the bag I will begin with upon reassembly. This part here is the indexing assembly all gummed up and, and uh, basically not moving correctly. But that wasn't the only problem. The other problem was down here. This is at the bottom of the tone arm. And there is your friction pad right there. It's a disc of cork that's permanently glued to, the, to this part. And the top surface has to be able to be uh, disengaged from the arm when, it, when the arm left and right movement is not needed. Well, it doesn't have any gripping power left anymore. But because its integrity is still perfectly good and it's not broken or flaking, I'm going to cover it with a very thin coat of Plasti Dip put on with a little tiny paintbrush. And that'll soak in, protect the rest of the cork, and it will also give it a good grip area. And so that'll fix that problem. And there again, as I say, going down the line to the parts that were removed and then ending finally with the motor assembly. And the motor assembly is interesting. Let me just look at that. This is just like the... Uh, silver tones in that it has the uh, belt drive combination belt and tire drive the belt is only used for 16 and 33 rpm records direct drive off the motor itself is for 45 and 78 this belt gary at vm has these and of course gary at vm can uh, rebuild drive wheels for you for these two this one's already been done it's in great shape but, and this, of course, you see this all the time. The, the motor mounts have to be changed. They're rotten, falling apart, collapsed. This one didn't even exist. So they'll, they're going to be changed with new ones. And uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's where we are at right now. We're basically the way this thing was when it was manufactured. Uh, and now we're going to start building it again after the, uh, the uh, new regrip is put on the tone arm moving post and uh, clean up all the rest of the parts and then that's it then it'll go back together again and uh, hopefully everything will work fine and that's it for now stay tuned for more